All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. It's uh, it's very late here, and my voice is not doing good. Um, I, I just I want to share some comments from uh, this gentleman, and we will discuss about it. His name is Haji Mastan. I don't know really if he's a Muslim or not, but let us see what he's saying. I was on your live chat for a very short time this morning. And I think all my posts were blocked. I know sometimes uh, ask very tough questions, but still you should not block Muslims' voices in your channel. You know, we don't block Muslims for asking, asking tough questions. This has never happened. I mean, it's not true. The same video you are talking about, we have a guy, his name is Fadi, and I'm talking to him for almost two hours. So what do you mean? And we keep saying Muslims call us. So how we block you in the chat and then we say call us and talk to us. Actually, I am the only one who allow people to call him live on air. Have you ever seen any Muslim dare even to do so? They don't even dare. So, you know, I find this comment is not even fair from you, regardless who you are. Secondly, uh, you ask tougher questions for me. What, what is that? What about you post your questions here? Pause them and let us see how tough they are. Uh, the admins, they, they ban somebody or block somebody if he is using a bad language. Not because, uh, uh, you know, he's asking questions. This has never happened. That's not, you know, that's not true. Um, and you are like he's telling me about YouTube uh, language, etc. I mean, this is all is kind of um, for me. I don't really care about uh, YouTube. I care about what I do. People in the chat they say whatever they want. People, you know, we have like at least every time we we'll go live on air, um, seven hundred, eight hundred. You know, sometimes a thousand, thousand. You know, depend. But are you going to shut up everyone who says something? No, we don't do that. But a person who uses a bad language, somebody stalking somebody, somebody insulting, I allow people to insult me. I don't allow people to insult other people. So I don't know what you are talking about. And please, next time, if you, uh, if you don't mind, uh, call me live on air and let us see how tough your questions is. Uh, same time, uh, what about you? Tell me what is your comment which is blocked? We want to see why it's blocked. I'm, I'm really interested. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for me, actually, I invite Muslims to come because I like people to hear the other sound of the story or the other voice of the story. But as you see, Muslims, they have no story. And you, like, you made a whole long this. I mean... And there is something useful you said to me? No. All of it is about chat. And the funny I find that you said to keep things balanced and uh, diversity and balance. I mean, I don't know if you are a Muslim or not, but look like it. I don't know. But how you speak about diversity and balance. Can I speak what I'm saying in, in the Middle East? You see, thank God I'm speaking in America. So, if you are a Muslim, a Muslim don't believe in diversity, the, 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 you know, like in balance. What balance? They attack the Christian there, they humiliate them. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm not going even to mention the violence which is happening every day. And yet, you give me a speech about uh, diversity and balance. What balance? And what diversity? Same time, we have a problem with YouTube. YouTube claim that they, uh, you know, uh, they practice uh, diversity and balance, but they are not balanced. You go to any Muslim website, you know, page, they don't take it down. I put my video for um, not even two hours. I, can, I cannot even keep my video for the whole day. Uh, so, you know, uh, this kind of a speech is, is very funny and it's not, it's not right. You can say whatever you want. Uh, but you know, you make you make a video saying uh, why the the prophet said the the dog the black dog is a devil. YouTube take it down. I mean, what's wrong with saying that? <laughs> what is the balance? So neither the Muslims believe in diversity and balance. Neither YouTube. They are liberals, radical. You know, 
and they have their madness you know anything you say it's not as long as you are a Christian they are against you they are they are together in bed with, with, with Islam because they believe that Islam is the minority in USA and because they you know they have too much uh, uh, you know against Christianity they have too much stress from, from from the cross from the churches from the Bible so they take side with the, with the ones who anyone anyone just attack Christianity you know what they take your video now uh, so don't tell me about this uh, you know what you are speaking about you know my account each time I reach, reach 70 80 thousand subscribers I lose my account I lose it I don't know if tomorrow I will wake up the, the, the account is gone so uh, and, and you go to you see a Muslim his account have a, a million subscriber why because they don't take his account down he talk about us as kuffar we are nudges we are dirty uh, there's a guy uh, he's from England and uh, he's a Muslim he made a video standing next to the uh, two cows and he's saying that the cows are better than the Christians because at least the cow they give milk what the Christians give <laughs> this is this is not a hated speech a guy who said that go and flag David Wood and uh, so you can harm him even he said the word harm him YouTube did not take his video down you know you for us we say anything just say anything anything you know that's it but anyway we don't really care uh, for us we are victorious and we do what's right it's not you who's going to teach me what is right my friend with my respect to you however if you want to say something to me let us see how tough your questions and you can give me a, a call when i am live on air i lose my voice keep saying who want to call me who want to call me and yet you are telling me i block muslims i mean that's it's not even this is silly this is silly maybe you do not know even we black christians like a Christian who start attacking uh, or saying a bad language, he claimed to be Christian, or even he attack other Christian churches. We block them too. So we are fair with everybody. And actually, I'm not even fair with the Christians. I say only Muslims can call me. I don't even allow Christians to call me. Why? Because I want people to hear the voice of the Muslim, to hear his answer. You know, I keep saying, don't call me as a Christian. If you are a Christian, don't call me. Don't text me. Uh, so it's funny what you said now I want to I want to give you an example about Muslims what the Muslims say when we when we uh, expose Islam look at this guy Christian Prince Arabian prophet let us learn uh, to calculate back this guy he posts the same comment every time he come to my page come tomorrow he will see the same comment he, he never dared to answer anything within the in, in the in the video the video is two hours two of and 40 minutes he don't answer anything there and look what he's talking about <laughs> this this is what the Muslims do Muslims because because what we say it does hurt hurt a lot so what he do now he want to change the topic let's talk about the Trinity oh the Trinity okay you see let, let me show you let me show you how silly the Muslims are if the Trinity is true or not that would not make Islam true this is number one number 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 two if Allah is one or ten who care He's a still a stupid God. I mean, what kind of God? He said the, the, the women have a sperm coming from their nipples or their, 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 the location of their necklace. So you have one God, but you have a one idiot God. Are you going to say an answer for me in the text about what I just said? No. You will repeat the same. So for us, God can be whatever he is. It's not you who to say if God is can be Trinity or not. What about you say to God, you don't want to, I, I don't want you to be God. Fire him. <laughs> so the Muslim he come to us with the idea and he want to design God as he wish and look the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan that they aren't they are not rejecting Trinity because Trinity does not make sense but because Muhammad he said don't accept Trinity I will give you an example the Quran says that Mary she gave birth to Jesus and she's a virgin do that make sense logically scientifically no how a woman she can give birth birth to a, to a child and she's a virgin that even impossible but no Muslim dare to object that so imagine if Muhammad did not mention that story in the Quran that Mary she was a virgin you will see the Muslims laughing at you to death right so 
when the Muslims object, not because the, the objection is about uh, what, uh, right or wrong, it's just they are just following blindly what Muhammad said. And Muhammad himself do not know even who is Allah. He never spoke to Allah. He, he never saw Allah and he never heard the voice of Allah and not even the fault of Allah. So how Muhammad can tell me about his God if he himself he never know his God? Uh, and then Muhammad he starts saying to us crazy stuff about his God. His God is not a man, but yet he have a shin, he have a hands, he have five fingers, he have two eyes, he have two hands in the right shoulder. So who's your God? They don't know. They don't even know what the word Allah means. Have you ever heard of religion? They do not know. They do not know what Israel mean. They do not know what Abraham mean. They do not know what Ishmael mean. They do not know what Jibreel mean. They do not know what Allah mean. They do not know. This is the religion of I don't know. And all what they want to talk about the Trinity. Well, the Trinity is very simple. Explained in your stupid Quran. Even in the Quran, it says that Jesus is one and he is a three in the same time, which is not our Trinity, but let me show you. <laughs> you see, just to show you the, 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 the mentality of this cult. Uh, if we go in the yellow pages of Muhammad, let us see. Hmm? Chapter 4, verse number 171. And if you don't like, uh, you know, uh, if you don't like the translation, uh, uh, we might post it. Let's use the most uh, famous translation, Yusuf Ali, the idiot Yusuf Ali. Just to make you happy. Here we go. You Muslim, you say you don't believe in the Trinity, right? Okay, let's see. The same verse saying no Trinity is the same verse. Say there is Trinity. What I choose? What is that? What language is that? What is that? Huh. Read with me and love. This is the verse. This is the only verse in the Quran saying, don't, uh, you know, a clear verse about the Trinity. O people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah but the truth. Okay, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, is between two brackets, which means not in the Quran, a messenger of Allah. Okay, count with me. What, he, what, what is Jesus is? He is a messenger of Allah. What kind of a messenger? He's a man. Okay, wonderful. So, this is number one. Jesus is a messenger of Allah. Hmm? Take note, Abdul. You said there is no Trinity, right? You said you are a Muslim who know how to calculate. Let us see the calculation of your God. So, Jesus is a man and he is a messenger of Allah. Oh, this is number one. Okay, and that and what? And he is his word. So Jesus is a messenger, he is a man, and he is a word of God at the same time. Okay, so this is two. Remember, you said you are good in calculation, Abdul. Hmm? So Jesus is the word of Allah. That's wonderful. All right. Let us make a line here. And what else? Not only this, he is a spirit proceeding from him. He is what? He is a spirit proceeding from him. Hmm. Okay. What is the total, Abdul? You told me that we are the one who made one, three. Guys, guys, isn't this what the comment saying? We Christians, we made the one, three. Okay, here we go. This is one. His name is Jesus. He become a tree. He is a man as a messenger. He is the word of God. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. How one can be through you? Explain to me now. I thought you Muslims are good in calculation. Zakir Naik, he said to him, he said in TV, uh, you know, he said, they asked him, why you don't allow teaching Christianity in, uh, in, in school? He said, do you allow somebody to teach one plus one plus one is equal to one? <laughs> it's, it's you who believe in that, not us. We don't believe in one plus one plus one. Where do you get the plus from? It's you who believe that Jesus is the Word and the Spirit and is a man in the same time. Three in one. The same stupid verse says, don't say Trinity. Will you just say the Trinity? And how you Muslims, you, you, when you pray, what do you do? You say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Allah Rahman Rahim. Three. Why three? 
How many names Allah have? 99. Multiply of number 3. Not only multiply of number 3, is multiply of number 3, x 33, the age of Jesus. Why Jesus, according to Islam, he lived in this earth 33 years? What about uh, 40 years? No answer. Why in the heaven of Allah, all of you will be 30 years old? No answer. Why Allah, he ordered Mary to fast for three days? No answer. Why Zechariah, Allah, he mute him for three days? No answer. Why if you commit sin, you have to fast for three days? No answer. Why if you take an oath, you have to say it three times? No answer. Why you have to do ablution and you have to wipe your, your hands, your face, your feet three times each time? Every limb of your body, you have to wipe it three times? No answer. Why you have to blow your nose three times? No answer. What about your mouth three times? No, no answer. Why you're a prophet when he say Assalamu Alaikum? He say the Assalamu Alaikum three times. Have you ever heard of somebody? He say hello, hello, hello. I mean, not even a robot machine doesn't do that. If they do, they will think that the machine have have a, have, have a problem with it, and they will check the the the, the format, the hard drive. And you are the one talking about the Trinity. How many times the angel he squeezed Muhammad when he met him first time? Three times. Why he squeezed him three times? He was trying to get mayonnaise out of him. Everything in your in your cult is a three time. Islam is based on three. Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad. What about making them four? <laughs> you know? <laughs> So I find I find I find that the, the logic of Muslims is not only beyond uh, uh, stupidity. The stupidity is is going to sue me for that, to claim that they have a stupidity in their cult. They are beyond in the stupidity when it's come to religion. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Even if Muhammad he if uh, if if Muhammad he told the story at the end of the story he repeat the last sentence three times, you believe it? Even when he tell a story like I say I told you now I I spoke for like fifteen minutes now at the last sentence I have to repeat it three times. Let me show you an example. Just an example, doesn't hurt. So this Abdul will. Uh, and this is the only thing they want to talk about the Trinity because they knew Islam. Islam is a stupid religion. We cannot debate about anything. Read with me, Abdul. Let us see the hadith. <clears throat> Muhammad telling us about a silly debate between Moses and uh, and Adam. Look at this debate. I mean, two prophets supposedly, they, according to Muslims, Adam is a prophet too. Let it go. And now Moses and Adam they are debating. And what what, what happened? Muhammad told the stupid story, which is crazy. And then Muhammad at the end, he said, this is how Adam, so Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses three times. You tell me why. Why your prophet he ever, always repeat the end of the statement three times? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? If a Muslim man he divorced his wife three times, she cannot get back to him unless she sleep with the new uh, idiot. Why three times? What about divorce her one time? What about two? What about four? No, three times. So you Muslims, everything in your cult is about the number three. Everything. The angel he came to Muhammad, he squeezed him three times. Why? Actually, I challenge any Muslim to tell me what the purpose of the squeezing. 
And the funny Muhammad, he did not say to the man, why you are squeezing me? Because remember the angel, he came to him in the shape of a man. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody squeezing somebody? He don't he say to him, who are you? Stop touching me. That's it. In the time of Muhammad, people, they squeeze each other and nobody complain. Huh? Look at this. So suddenly, Jibreel came to him. They call him the truth, supposedly. Truth, you're right. And the angel came to him and asked him to read. That's it. You enter a place. You don't say, Assalamu Alaikum. Why? Because Assalamu Alaikum is something later Muhammad he learned from the Jews when he went to, 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 to the Medina. Before that day, he never said Assalamu Alaikum. He started from the Jews. Shalamu Alaikum. This is a Jewish greeting. This is not Islamic greeting. So here we go. The angel of Allah, he entered to Muhammad. He don't greet him with peace. Why? He's in war with him. How come he's in? First time the angel speak to Muhammad, don't say to him Assalamu Alaikum. Why? He forgot. So the angel cut me forcefully and pressed me so hard that I could not bear it. Who's talking? Muhammad. Okay. Why the angel? Uh, you know, any Muslim can tell us why. Why the angel cut him? Muhammad, he been all, uh, the, the, the guy told him, the angel told him to read. Muhammad told him, I do not know how to read. Why he is squeezing him? And why he asked him again? And the angel, he cut him and he pressed him again and again and again, three times. Why? Did Muhammad learn how to read after squeezing? What the difference between Muhammad before squeezing and Muhammad after squeezing? Huh? What happened? If there's a change happened? Can we say Muhammad was the only squeezed prophet? Look about Muhammad, he is the only bewitched prophet, the only squeezed prophet, the only prophet who imagined himself having sex with his wife, but the fact he was not, he was doing it maybe with the pillow. I mean, everything is unique about your prophet. The only prophet received Quran in the clothes of his wife. The only prophet who received the chapter of Al-Fatiha when he was doing poo -poo. I mean, can't the angel wait until the guy finish his poo, poo Have you ever heard of an angel of God? He come to you to deliver a message when you are doing poo, poo Can't he wait? The day is 24 hours. How long Muhammad will do poo, poo Wait for the guy to finish it and then he put his panty up and then he said to him, Muhammad. So when a Muslim, he speak about logic and especially when I talk about the Trinity, I mean, we believe in the Trinity, you practice the Trinity. Everything in your cult is about the Trinity. Are we good guys? And here Christian Prince, you know, obviously he know nothing about Islam. And look, let us see what the Muslim Abdul, the same guy who made the comment, what he will say about this. Nothing. Just insult and calling names. And the funny he's talking about it cheating. Isn't it your prophet who was caught cheating in his in the bed of his wives? And he took an oath and then he says, Allah gave me an order to break the oath. You are talking about the cheating. Everything in Islam is about cheating. Even Allah himself is the best of the cheaters. Isn't it the Quran says Allah is the best of the deceivers? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's getting late here. You see guys why I am single? Imagine I have wife and now it is 1.23 a.m. She will kill me if I am screaming like this. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. So I better go before my neighbors, they come over and they squeeze me for speaking loud and after the middle of the night. Or even the police, they squeeze me too. Look like squeezing is a... And by the way, do you think if I've been squeezed, I would become a prophet? Do you think the prophet, he was squeezed three times like an activation? Because like sometimes if you squeeze something, you might activate it. You never know. I don't know what the purpose of the squeezing you know, quack, 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 quack. I mean, but this the story itself is a silly. And then at the end of the story, we see Muhammad. He trying to commit suicide. What? What a crazy prophet! And how many times he tried to commit suicide?
the 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 author the the narrator he did not tell how many times but he said many times look at this the prophet after waraqa ibn nufal the one who made the quran die look what it says the man he died waraqa he died <laughs> few days after waraqa died and the divine inspiration also post i mean what why allah stops in the quran because of the because of uh, waraqa died what does this have to do with this? <laughs> Allah, he went to the funeral. So for a while, and the prophet became so sad. And we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Like, I want to throw myself now. You Muslims, you have a crazy prophet. So look what we have. We have a prophet being squeezed three times. We have a prophet. Uh, uh, he repeat the word three times. Uh, we have a prophet. Even he said, shake your penis three times. And why, why three times? What about four? Are you afraid it's going to come off? Why three times? We do not know. Even if he want to clean his ass, he have to use the three rocks. He's stuck with the three times. The angel, he squeezed him three times. And now, Muhammad, he is trying to, many times, maybe three times, we are not sure about the number, because it says here, intended several times to throw himself from the top of the mountain. I bet you it was a three times. <laughs> Oh boy, I, and uh, by the way, I'm thinking to be. Uh, <clears throat> I receive an uh, an offer job, a job offer, uh, to become a prophet. Uh, but I am afraid if I become a prophet, then all the women they have to sleep with me, like the prophet Muhammad. He was a holy man, busy, busy. He make a chapter. Any woman she want to sleep with him to give herself to the prophet. Just come to him, give yourself. I mean, since women, they since when women they give themselves like this, unless she is a hooker, a woman, she decent woman, she come to the man, she say, take me, take me, take me, baby. What is that? You don't even know her name. A woman, she come to him, take me, prophet, please take me. And then Aisha, she said, oh, she she got Muhammad busted. She noticed that Muhammad is a scam. She said to him, Inni ara rabbuka yusaru ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see that your Lord, he rushed into your sexual desire, Muhammad. Is that true? Yes, it's in the front of you. Aisha, she said, I felt jealous of the women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger. Why women offering themselves to Allah Messenger? Because Allah Messenger, he made a verse in the Quran, says, any women she want to give herself to me, take me, baby. Do you remember the guy with his name? The guy who in the movie funny comedy take yes baby what his name austin something yes baby muhammad was this guy women they are lined up on him yeah baby all of them they want to sleep with him and aisha the wife she is watching Austin Power, this is Muhammad Power. Austin Power versus Muhammad Power. Who think he is going to win? For sure, Muhammad. Are you kidding me? So Austin Power and Muhammad Power both is the same. Yes, baby. Oh, baby. Women are lined up and they want to sleep with the Prophet. Why? I mean, is this guy is coming to deliver a message to the earth about salvation or about sex? And Aisha, she said, oh, I see that your Lord, you rush into your sexual desire. She is not stupid. She is young, yes, but she can tell this guy he's fabricating Quran just for his sex. What what Muhammad being a prophet have to do with Allah sending Muhammad versus saying any woman she can give herself to you? Muhammad already have 13 wives. And he have tons of slaves for sex. What this verse is about? Um, he's a, a Austin Power. Yes, baby. Huh? Even Mr. Bean doesn't do that. that you know, he don't go with, the, with, with this madness. But again, they will talk only about the Trinity because everything in Islam is embarrassing. So they try to escape the embarrassment and they try to speak only about the Trinity. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, baby. <laughs> Anyway, don't forget guys to download the video. I'm not going to stay longer. It's really late and my voice is tired. You can tell. And actually I was working in the cover of uh, 
uh, the Spanish, uh, the new Spanish book, the translation of uh, Quran and science soon is going to be out, and you can tell my voice is gone. Uh, because I was, uh, keep saying, yes, baby, I mean, uh, it's not easy to be a prophet. I want to be a prophet, just for like a day or a week. <laughs> anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. Please download the video immediately. Uh, I'm going to delete my previous videos, maybe in two hours from now or an hour. But uh, maybe by the morning, I'm not sure, because I I should sleep by now. What is the time now? 1.30. I can't go to sleep now, because Allah, He come down in the third part of the night. I mean, imagine, Allah don't come in the third part. He come in the third part. Even here, there's Trinity. The third part of the night. Why, Allah, He come in the third part of the night? They don't know. And as long as Allah is coming in the third part of the night, I cannot go to sleep now because Allah will come and He will find nobody. Huh? Oh, baby. All right. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. If you'd like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books from Amazon.com, uh, that Germany, whatever, whatever dot, all the dots in the words. We have it in Spanish, we have it in German, we have it uh, in French. Uh, I mean, you know, with, with, the, with the thanks for all those who help us uh, in the translation, I really appreciate them. <clears throat> uh, my books became very, uh, like, they are extending in many languages, and I'm really, I, I really appreciate all those who did their part to help us in the translation. And uh, soon we will have Six and Allah in German, and I'm working right now. Uh, in the cover of uh, the translation for Quran and science in Spanish. And, uh, you know, uh, God is good. God is good. And people liking the books, enjoying them. Especially, you know, we back our books. Everything we say is not a speech. I never make a speech. I never. Always I provide proofs and reference of what I say. When I say something right away, I grab it, I put it in the screen. My book is not, not, not too much different. I speak about something, it is going to be there right away. <clears throat> My Quran is taking long because simply, I mean, don't you see how many hours I spend a day, guys, with you? Questions. People want to talk to me. People want to leave Islam. A guy, he have his wife, she want to leave Islam. A, uh, you know, a family. I mean, uh, uh, you, you, you have no idea. You think I just go on YouTube and that's it, I'm done? No. And even my YouTube is how many, I, I don't go for YouTube for 15 minutes. I go, you know, for long, sometimes many hours. So, uh, in order to finish the translation of the Quran, uh, is, you know, I need maybe to take a vacation for two months. No YouTube, nothing, just, you know, work in that. And anyway, it's going to be finished. The same as we started our other books, we finished them. This one will finish. But I think mostly uh, I need to take like uh, to take off because uh, this. I mean, you see, guys. Honestly, I wish one day I go to sleep, I wake up. There is nothing called this now. It's really stupid religion. I'm sick of it. But because I feel guilty if I don't do what I do, I don't see somebody can replace me. And this is the whole story. I find that the Christian until now, the majority, they have no idea what Islam is about. So this is why I keep asking, please download my videos, share them, etc. Because we, you know, we are not given the opportunity to expose this cult as we should be able. Like how many I have now? 425. If I am a Muslim, trust me, they will be with me in TV. They will they will have a satellite for me. You know, who is the, who is this Zakir Naik? He cannot even read two words in his book. He do not know two words in his Quran. And he gave the most stupid answer, which is against his religion. Yet he have a 12 satellite broadcasting his stupidity. But who is going to support us? Few of you yeah, like help us as much as they can. But they are the one who got the real help. Right? However, because we have the truth in our side, we are victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Let all the money help them to cover the shame. You cannot buy God by money. 
only in Islam they do that. You cannot, you cannot, you know, they try to spread their religion by money. Like, you know, if you see the, the prince of Qatar, he is uh, the, uh, the king of Saudi Arabia. They have in the most famous university, they have sections for Islam. And if you convert to Islam, they give you a scholarship. They pay for your tuition. They pay for everything. So they try and they do their best, but at the end, it works against them. And I will explain to you how. Those who they convert them into Islam by the money. Later, they discover that Islam is not what they told them. They leave Islam and they become the most, the worst enemy to Islam. And there is many, many cases like this. They go and even some of them, they learn Arabic. And then they became the worst enemy to Islam. Like the guy, what's his name? Uh, Brother Ishmael. His name for 16 years was convert to Islam. Then one day after he learned Arabic and now he, he actually I, I was I was surprised about how good his Arabic is. He speak, you know, he learned Arabic. He learned the Arabic, the classic Arabic, you know, uh, which is different from the real like the Arabic we speak in the street or etc. But anyway, he have the tools now to understand. And uh, now he is an enemy of Islam. 16 years trying to make people convert to Islam. And now he changed his name in YouTube. Don't convert to Islam. So the Muslims, they armed him against Islam. Because sooner or later, people, they will know that you did lie to them. And Islam is not what you say. Because in the, the version of Islam in English is not the same version of Islam in Arabic. No? So you cannot hide it. All right? And for those who speak, uh, <clears throat> I think you guys are speaking Indonesian. I apologize. I don't know uh, Indonesian. I will ask Jibril to teach me. Uh, uh, maybe I, you, can, you guys can translate to me what the Indonesian people are saying. Uh, anyway, with my love to everybody, you can tell I'm losing my voice. I better go before Jibril appear and squeeze me. So please download the video as soon as you can. Uh, why Arab Muslims don't leave Islam? Who told you don't leave Islam? You have no idea. Arab Muslims are leaving Islam like crazy. There's. Do you remember the city? It's called... Uh, um, in Arabic, they call it Ainu uh, al-Arab. Kobani, Kobani. You know Kobani? Go and see Kobani. Churches are growing everywhere. The, the, the Muslims who live in Kobani, they've been occupied by ISIS. Now they are coming to Christ as never before. They have zero Christians in that town. Now, a lot of ex-Muslims. Yeah, You are mistaken, my friend. You have no idea how many people are leaving Islam every day. Go and watch, uh, you know, my videos. You will see in the last three months only how many people left life on air. So we have a lot of Arab, a lot of Arab. Uh, but how, you know, the difference is between somebody converting to Islam and somebody leaving Islam is very simple. If you convert to Islam, nobody will kill you. If you leave Islam, you hide yourself. When you convert to Islam, the Muslim, they will make 1,000 video for you. They bring you to conference, speak while you convert to Islam, they give you a salary, but when you leave Islam, you have to hide. Right? Otherwise, Al Jazeera TV said, Al Jazeera TV, the terrorist TV said, 16,000 Muslims leave Islam a day in one territory, 6 million a year. 6 million a year, imagine, Al Jazeera TV. And the funny, they come with this number. They say it's 666 an hour. <laughs> 666 an hour. <laughs> and the sheikh in Al Jazeera TV, he was like angry. Nobody have the right to make Muslims leave Islam. Nobody. You are right. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. Nobody. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Otherwise, we will keep going until the morning. Actually, already it's the morning. So may the Lord bless you all. And remember, the one who have the Messiah, he have it all. And the one who have a black stone, he will end with the black stone. We don't kiss stones. We don't believe in stones. We believe in the living God. Our God is living God. And even the Muslim believe that Jesus the Christ is alive right now in heaven where every human being before him is dead according to Islam save Jesus and no Muslim can explain 
how such a thing can happen and why Jesus is coming back but nobody is coming back because Islam is a cult collection of other beliefs and Muhammad he could not hide the truth that Jesus will come back to save us even he said that shaitan when he see Jesus he will melt like salt in the water that is my Lord not like your Lord Muhammad who was commanded by the devil as the hadith says and even the Quran confirmed that so thank you guys for being here please download the video we will not keep it for long Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon bye bye Ha <laughs> ha